start record. Okay, so I just press record. So for those of you that are new, my name is Limor Weber, and tonight we are going to create a project using the beautiful uh, new Anna Marie collection by Prima. And I'm going to switch the camera so that um, is Bev on here? Um, she's not on there. Um, I'm going to switch the camera and uh, I'm going to show you all the products that we're going to be using tonight. All right, so Logitech camera. There we go. Give it a minute. All right, can everybody still see me okay? I hope so. Please say yay or nay. Hang on a sec, sorry. Just lifting that wire. There's one hanging right there. Where's, where's that? Is it that? Yeah, there we go. Can everybody see me okay? Not you, the project? Okay, yay! Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm going to move this project off to the side for a moment, and I just want to give you a quick snippet of this fabulous new line, okay? So I don't have the 12 by 12 papers, and I'm going to move this down just a tiny bit, just so that, sorry to make you dizzy, just so that you can see the paper a little bit better, and then I'll move the camera up. But the Anna Marie collection is so, so pretty. And check out this gorgeousness. Can you believe we're actually going to create a layout using the 6x6 papers, okay? So really gorgeous. So you'll get three of these, um, and I used it on the layout. You get, look at this one, with the little dresses, and can you see all the detailing on it? Just gorgeous. And the 6x6s six um, are not double-sided, okay? Um, yeah, you gave me two weeks in a row. Isn't that hilarious? Look at this one, though. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. And this one right here, all these tiny, tiny little flowers. I don't think they're fussy cuttable. They're, they're a little bit too tiny. And then this one, so pretty, little polka dots, so versatile, right? And then, of course, we couldn't go without a little bit of chevron. And then check this one out. I love this one. We're going to use this one tonight for sure. Um, I just think it's so pretty. I love it. And it's so great for cards because it's so little that you can put little sentiments and stuff, right? Um, and then this one, so pretty. Check this one out. This is one of my favorite ones. It's a, sorry, it's a little bit, uh, it's out of focus. There we go. Okay. And I love this one with the gorgeous music notes. It's my favorite color. So that's pretty awesomeness. And then I just kind of want to show you all of them. Hope that's okay with you all. There's that. And check out this one. This one's a little bit busy, but it's really pretty in person. I know on camera sometimes things seem a little bit busier than they actually are. This is beautiful. I know it's a little bit out of focus. There we go. Beautiful little dresses. You could totally fussy cut them out. <clears throat> And then check this one out. Oh, gorgeousness. And then this one. And then last, I think this is the last one. This is gorgeous, kind of like a ledger style. Perfect. Okay, so that's a six by six pad. Um, Carrie has posted on the Live with Prima all the product um, uh, codes, but for those of you that really want it right now, it's 846374. Okay. So there's the six by six pad. We'll also be using these fabulous, what did that part come from? Oh, it fell out. These fabulous new um, wood embellishments. And this is from the Anna Marie collection as well. Look how cute these are. Oh my goodness, right? Love, little heart. We'll use the heart tonight. I love you. Little dress, bows, and the music notes. And you get 36 pieces in this. So pretty awesomeness. And then... We'll also be using, uh, from the Anna Marie collection, we'll be using these wonderful little flowers that match the collection beautifully. And this code is 570675. And we'll also be using these absolutely gorgeous flowers by, oh, I thought these, I thought they were um, Anna Marie, but they're actually Delight. Really? Are they in the wrong packaging? Just a second. I'm just losing it. Okay. It's so great because this pattern matches perfectly 
with, look at, if you guys see this, is that not the most perfect pattern, right? Um, this is actually from the Delight Collection, um, but it says Anna Marie here, so it's very confusing. I'm not sure. Anna Marie, uh, 570729. Yeah, <laughs> totally confused. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm using Google Chrome. It works so much better, I find. I'm just going to turn this light onto here because I think it'll be a little bit better for you guys. All right. And this one is a little bit older. It's a vine. It's called Songbird Vine, and it's 539054. We'll be cutting this puppy up like crazy tonight. And um, I'll be using these flowers right here. They're an older collection as well, but match the collection perfectly. Uh, Pearl Bebe Doodle Dew, 555740. And, you know, I just want to talk a little bit about that. You know, one of the things that we often do is that we always want everything of the new collections. And sometimes we can't get something because it's sold out or we can't find it. And what's so great is that I know that not every company does this, but Prima stuff, you can count on being able to use older collections with new collections because they go so beautifully together. Um, so I just, I wanted to talk about that because... You know, I found myself, I didn't have the 12 by 12 papers to create the layout, and I was able to find papers from an older, an older collection that went beautifully. So, just something to, to note. Um, I won't be using this one tonight, but I really wanted to show it to you because it's so cute. Look at this Anna Marie collection. Isn't it adorable with the little dresses? Um, 570071. Isn't that cute? Um, so, I'll just put that aside, but I wanted to show it to you. And then this we'll be using tonight. Look at this gorgeous stamp set. I mean, these things are, like, nice, right? Um, this is 570095, okay? And what else do we got? We got a couple more things. Last but not least, we've got the journaling stickers. These are just awesome. I mean, there's so many in here. You can make multiple projects, cards, layouts, anything you want. The code for this one is 570057. And then um, the chipboard pieces, these are my favorite. Oh my God, I, everything's my favorite, can you tell? Love this, like love this. This frame is just stunning, right? This one is 570033. You don't like stickers? Oh my gosh, these are amazing. I love them, love, love, love them. And um, one of the things, the other um, ones that we're going to use for the background of our um, layout, I'm actually going to use the Printery Collection. Like, isn't this paper awesome? Don't you guys love Printery? One of my absolute favorites. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Um, but this is called, this one's called Negative, and it's 843502. Okay, so we'll be using that tonight. And I'll leave that right here because I'm going to use that next. And um, I'm going to use different pictures tonight just for fun. And I'm going to use these tiny doilies. These are the Martha Stewart doilies, okay? And then these doilies are, at, these are actually cupcake. You can get these at Michael's or any any store. Um, there's tons of them, but they're the cupcake um, wrappers, right? Which we're not using them as cup, cupcake wrappers, but aren't these gorgeous? Or if you have a silhouette, you can actually cut these out in your silhouette, which is really great. Or any, or Cricut or whatever die cut machine you have okay so that's what we'll be using tonight and uh let's get started how does that sound does that sound good sounds good to me let me pull this up just a tiny bit so that you guys can see it just a little bit better how's that is that good oops sorry didn't mean to move around on you so much all right perfect i'm gonna go ahead and cut the strips off of these papers Okay, so for those of you that didn't see at the beginning, um, we're going to be making this lovely layout tonight. Okay, this is the layout we'll be making tonight. All right, so that's what we're going for. And I'm going to be using this side right here. Okay, and that's the strip that I cut off. So what I want to do actually is I'm actually going to take my uh, Prima Distress tool, which I love. If you guys don't have one, get one because it's amazing. And I'm just going to give the edges just a tiny bit. I don't want it too distressed. The reason I don't is because I'm not going for a hugely distressed layout, but I do want a little bit because I find that it takes the ink really, really well. 
Um, so it's almost that part of layering, sometimes giving that the edge of the paper a little bit of dimension. Oh, Lacey, are you having issues, honey? Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. All right. And um, one of the things that I'm going to use tonight as well is I'm going to use four different um, chalk inks by Inkbuild Foam. And one of them is green uh, pastel green, which for you guys, it'll show up as white just because of the amount of light that's in the studio right now. But it's a very pastel, like pistachio type green. Uh, I'll be using Old Road, which is one of my favorites because it's kind of like a gray black charcoal, -y, I guess, raspberry pie and uh, turquoise stone. So first I'm going to start with my uh, pastel green and I'm just going to go all around the edges and what it'll do as you can see it just kind of uh, whitens the edges just a little bit. Okay. If you don't have these uh, chalk edgers they're like the best thing since sliced bread. I use them on everything. You can even use them on mixed media like water coloring with them. You can do you can use them on anything. I just love them and I love the little contoured handle. So beautiful. It's just, it's really easy to hold, right? It's just really easy to play with. Gotta have all the colors. You always, you know, you always end up needing that color that you didn't have. I swear. This one is, I'm going into turquoise stone, turquoise stone. I can't speak. English is my second language, okay? And you can start to see a little bit of that turquoise popping through, which is really beautiful. Can you guys see that? Isn't that great? It's just so fabulous. And what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. That happens to me often. How many of you have that? Where you're talking and you're like, I have no idea what I was just about to say. I just lost it. I lost my train of thought. I kind of lost my mind when... Uh, when my children were born. It's like my memory went out the window. So I'm going to take my second piece of the same paper, okay, but we're going to use the other side of it, okay, because look how gorgeous it is. Look at this. Is that not stunning? I just love that paper. Fibro fog. Yeah, I have a couple of friends that deal with that, and that's what they say too. I'm going to cut this piece at 10 by 10, okay? So whatever side you want, you can cut. So I'm cutting it right here at 10 by 10, okay? And now I have a piece that goes right there, all right? And next what I wanna do is I wanna do the exact same thing that I did with the other page is I wanna distress my edges. I think this is gonna be quick tonight. That's the whole point, right? It's like how many of you sometimes you know, they, you want to make a project and it just takes you hours, just hours. And I think the biggest thing, um, you know, one of my biggest tips for you all um, about creating a layout is what I find is really, really easy, easy is if you actually gather supplies that kind of match together and you kind of have them sitting at your desk in sections, right? Like, okay, all my embellishments that match together, all my inks that match with the paper. So, you know, start with the paper line. What paper line are you gonna use? And after that, start matching it. And um, you'll find your project will be a little bit easier to create versus having to run to your desk or to wherever, right, every two minutes. So it's just my little tip of the day. Just saying. Um, this, this one's not showing up because I didn't use it on there because it's too, it's too light. So I'm gonna use the turquoise stone, okay, to get the edges just a little bit. And I'm just doing it almost very quick. I'm getting those corners. Those corners is key to get them a little bit, uh, create that little bit of that shadow effect, if you will. Okay, just like so. Do you guys want me to put the camera down just a tiny bit? I find like it's a little bit high but I know my camera angle is a little bit different than what you guys see, so I'm just going to put it down just a tiny bit. I'm hoping that's a little bit better for you. Okay, 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paste this down. And you can use anything. You can use beacon. You can use dry adhesive. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to use, um, I love, I have to admit, I'm like a huge zip dry three in one Fabri-Tac uh, fan. And uh, beacon is so good to us. And I'm just going to put it all around the edges. And you know what's so great? There is nothing worse than having a dimensional layout and half your stuff start to pop off. Okay. It's the worst. And I can count on using Beacon and my stuff never falling off, which is pretty awesome, right? And try to be as center as possible when putting this together, just like so. Oh no, that you put your bottle upside down. That's not good. That's not good at all. All right. The next thing that I'm going to do, I always forget. I keep looking at my layout. You guys can't see me, but it's pretty hilarious. I'm like, what was next? The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, oh, for those of you that want to know the name of this, it's from Salter, and it's called Cupcake Wrappers. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can find them anywhere. I've seen them a hundred million times. You need, uh, you need two of them. But I've also cut some of these out on my silhouette. So this is, this is really easy to find. You won't have issues finding these. Okay. So I'm going to put those right there. I'm just going to throw them away there out of my way. And these are going to go about right here. But the first thing that I want to do is I actually want to uh, almost wash them out a little bit. Because what you'll find is because this is washed out, you almost want to match that um, here as well. So you want to take your uh, pastel green, which I know shows up for you as a little bit white and just give it a little bit of an inking. You don't have to worry about the bottoms. They're mostly going to be um, hidden anyway. So we're just going to do a little bit of that. Oops, I ripped a little bit. Be careful with these. They're very dainty. Very, very dainty. You can kind of see, look at, can you see the difference between the two? Right? This one's a little bit softer. I don't know if the camera catches that, but it does make a really big difference. Aren't these gorgeous, you guys? You know what? I picked up like, I don't know, 10 packages of these and they were $2.99. So, I don't know. I know, I'm sorry to entice you with a product you can't, you know, I can't, you can't buy from Prima, but I had to use it on this layout. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I gotta, I gotta put it on the layout. I have to. Okay. The next thing that I want to do is I'm not going to paste it quite yet because you want to start building your layout. So, um... The next thing that I want to do is I just want to prep my uh, photos. And to prep your photos, what you're going to need is, I took two doilies apart, you're going to need the small little doilies by Martha Stewart. Okay, and I'm just going to move this layout aside for just a moment. And I'm going to use these two photos right here. The last layout I did, um, I used these ones um, of Ava and I, but I think I'll use these ones just, just for variation, okay, just so that it varies. And I, what I like about my photo is that her, you can't tell very well, but her clothes have little tiny flowers that kind of match some of the other papers. Now, what's so fun about this is that, do you see how it's, do you see these um, little um, holes right there all around the doily? I'm literally going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut that center right out, okay? Very gently because, as you know, doilies are very flimsy and um, especially if you have sharp scissors like I do right now these are my favorite scissors you guys know that it's my Fiskars um, um, what do you call them what do you call this spring loaded um, I do have carpal tunnel and um, I find that if I cut too much my hands start to hurt and then I can't even hold my coffee mug so now you have a perfect frame Right, so I'll show you how to put that together. So we'll make two of them, okay? Any questions so far? Not that we've done anything really, you know, crazy. Okay. All right, just like so. 
Now what I want to do is I'm going to, before I actually put it on my photo, I'm actually going to take my pastel green. And um, on the white, the pastel green shows up really beautifully. You guys may not be able to see. Let me see if I can pull it up to the camera. Can you guys see the pastel green? I know sometimes it's a little bit hard to, to see, but I think you guys might be able to see it. Let's see. Can you see it? Maybe on a, on a black piece of paper. Uh, let's see. Do I have a black piece of paper? I want you to actually see the color. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, you just texted me. I should turn my... Um, you know what? The cupcake liners, you can find them. I've seen them at Michael's. I've seen them at... Um, where have I seen them? I've seen them at Winners. I've seen them at like Marshall's. Um, I've seen them at uh, HomeSense. You can buy them anywhere, like literally. Yeah, tons of different places. So very easily accessible. And you know what? Any party supply store will carry them too. Yeah, lots of cup, like all those baking places, they have them too. It's fabulous. Cupcakes is a big thing right now. And so they're really easy to find. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay, so now that can you guys see that they're nice and minty green, the beautiful or pastel green, I should say. Let me just wipe this um, little mess away so that I don't get anything else on there. Okay, perfect. Always have baby wipes beside you, you guys. It's like the number one rule when creating. Okay, and look at my beautiful, isn't this gorgeous? <laughs> Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paste this down. I'm going to take some uh, three-in-one, actually, and I'm going to go right around the edges. Okay. Right around the edges, like very, very thinly, okay, right there. Just like that, all right? Make sure you get all those glue fibers out of the way, and then I'm going to apply it down right there just like that and I'm just getting those edges right there and then what I'm going to do I'm literally going to go underneath the photo and I'm going to cut around usually I wait a couple seconds until it's dry so that I don't uh, rip it but we don't have time for that the show must go on we don't have time to wait Okay, just like this, lift it up a little bit and give it a quick cut. And you won't be able to see any of the stuff that's on the bottom. Okay, just like that. Ta-da! Gorgeous, right? Cute little frame. Very, very quick little easy frame. I want to show you that little trick of mine. Look at you guys. Are you guys trying to look for cupcake stuff? You guys are hilarious. Okay. All right. Just like that. Whoops, I have a lot of glue fibers, which I need to pull off. Better than using hot glue though, because as you guys know, I've burnt my fingers many a times on my shows, which is not good. At least I can commit a crime now and they won't be able to uh, find my fingerprints, right? Because they're burnt off thanks to our glue gun. Okay. Maybe that's a police joke. How do you find a crafter? <laughs> How can you? Because they have no fingerprints. <laughs> okay. That's the stupidest joke I just came up with. Anyway, okay, there's that cute littleness. Cute littleness. All right. <laughs> All right, here's the layout back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our 6x6 six six paper. And we're going to pick the pages that we're going to use. And one of them um, is this top one right here, which is for sure one of my absolute favorites. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut it at... Uh, five inches okay so it's six by six so we're gonna cut it at five just like so and then we're also going to cut it at 
three inches, okay? Just like that. Fabulous, fabulous. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our turquoise stone and we're going to give just three of the edges some inking, okay? And then same as here, just like so. <laughs> and now what we're going to do is we're going to put this one about right here. And this one, this is going to go tuck underneath, just like that. And this one's going to go about right here. All right. And we're going to glue this down just like that, just right now. Just like so. And I just want to make sure that they are pretty much the same. Okay, I'll do that again with the glue. And we're going to, yeah, about right there. I don't mind putting a little bit of glue on the on these. I can still move. I'll still be able to move them around. Okay, just like that. The next thing that we're going to grab is our uh, piece that is looks like this one right here. This one right here. And we're also going to take our beautiful pink, which is right here, and this one right here. Fabuloso. Fabuloso. And next, we're going to take this guy. Do you see why it doesn't matter that it's been cut? Because this is going to go about right here. Did I pop that one up? No, I didn't. Okay, so this one is going to go right on the bottom. And before we do that, what we want to do is we want to give it a little bit of edge with the white, or the, uh, sorry, pastel green. Just a little bit, and then a little bit of the turquoise stone. And it just kind of, you know what, it just kind of brings all the collection together. And because this has the same black, it's really great, right? Just kind of makes those collections just match. Okay. Just like that. And we're going to put this one down right there. Fabulous. Simply fabulous. This one, though, is sticking out a little bit too much for me, so I'm actually going to slide it in just a tiny, tiny bit. All right. Just don't want to stick it out too much. There we go. <laughs> and the next thing that I'm going to grab is my pink. Okay. And I forgot to measure this guy, but it's at, where's my ruler? I better measure it right now. And I cut it at three and a half. Okay, so three and a half. Just like so. And we're going to ink him up just a little bit too, right on the edges here. Pretty much won't see the bottom piece of it, just the top, but that's okay. All right, and we're going to apply this puppy down just like that. All the process of layering. But right now, we don't have a whole lot of dimension. One of the things you want to watch for is you don't want your layout to be like 20 feet tall, okay, when you're creating, because that just doesn't look good either. You won't be able to, unless you're putting in the frame, but you still don't want it to stick out craziness, right? Don't you love this paper line? Oh my gosh. I, once I started playing with it, I was like, I'm in love. I'm just so in love. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to cut all these little pieces out. And these are super quick to cut, right? We can use our cutter. But who needs a cutter when you've got fabulous scissors? And these are just adorable. 
Do we have any questions so far? Don't think so. Don't think so. I should have actually cut um, a pic or printed a picture of Hannah. Such a bad mom. But you know what? Hannah doesn't like her pictures taken as much as Ava, and so she tends to kind of not be in as many pictures. So these ones are the ones that we have left over, which we're not going to use on this layout today. Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually pop all these puppies up. So we're going to put foam dots on all of these guys. Okay. Did I use this one? I can't even see it. Oh yeah, I did. Okay. There we go. And we're going to take these guys and we're going to put foam dots on all of them. Just like that. I like to use foam dots a lot. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Now I'm going to put the layout in front of me because otherwise I won't remember how I put it together. Um, but it's going to be about right there, just like that. We're going to stick it out. Okay. And then this guy is going to actually go upside down because all you'll actually see is the little flowers. It doesn't matter that the writing is right here. You won't actually see it. So it's going to be about right there. Okay. Stick it out just like so. And then the other ones, <clears throat> excuse me, why do I lose my voice every time I uh, do a show? And then the other one's going to go about, kind of stick out about right there, okay? The art of layering. And then this guy is going to go, this guy, did I cover him up? I think I'm going to cover him up, which is totally okay. And then this guy's going to go underneath the flowers, which we'll do in a moment. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take these guys and we're going to paste them down, okay? I might tuck that other guy that we kind of lost somewhere because you know what? He's just too cute. It would be a shame not to put him on. Oh, and before I forget, actually, I forgot to. We gotta, we gotta do the same to these guys. Okay. Same to these guys. Don't forget them. Right. Just like that. And then these guys before you take that little thing off. All right. At Prima Belly Band and altering it. Okay, I'm going to move this one over just a tiny bit. Just like that. And then this one's going to go about right there. Perfect. And then this one is going to go. Where do I get my, flam uh, my black foam dots? They are from Scrapbook Adhesive. Yeah, like three, isn't that 3L? Scrapbook Adhesive. Yeah, I love them. They're awesome. You can find them anywhere, really, like anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere. And I really like this guy, and I, I don't, I have him on my layout somewhere, but I don't know where. So I'm going to leave him, but I might use him a little bit later, okay? And now what I want to do is I want to pop my pictures up. Okay, so I want to start placing my pictures and then I'll go ahead and I will play with my flowers. So I actually want to pop them up as well because this is what's going to create that beautiful dimension. So I'm going to apply some foam dots on the back. Okay, not too many because I want to be able to still do stuff around these photos. In really in brown and red I have never seen that before I do have to admit never seen that before but pretty cool Oops. my nails are giving me trouble I better go get them done tomorrow not, not loving this look all right now we're going to uh, kind of place them in a way 
that kind of works. Covering up some of those beautiful holes. Okay, just like so. I actually want that one on the top. I really like the top one, her looking. Just think it's cute. Just like that. Fabulous. All right. Isn't that cute? And then we're going to put the flowers, as you can see, right through the page. All right. So it's just building, building, building layers. And so this guy is going to go actually like right underneath here. So we're going to ink him up. And we're going to put some foam dots on him too, as you must, but just on the ends. Just on the ends, that's it. And you'll barely see him. But he goes kind of on top of this one. Okay. So right there, actually. Just like that. Whoops. Just pop. It got stuck on my nail. Fabuloso. Fabuloso. Next, we're going to start adding a little bit of flowerage and a little bit of stickers. So let's do a little bit of the flowers. So the first flower that I'd like to use is this guy. And I want to show you a little trick. I'm going to pull these out. I could use this one for fun, just for a variation, but I really like this one. So there's a couple things that you want to do with this one. The first thing that you want to do is you want to take your turquoise stone and you, of course, want to ink up a little bit of the edges. And what it'll do, again, is it'll just kind of, you know, blend everything together. Okay. And these are gorgeous burlap, like just gorgeousness, right? Okay. So that's the first thing that you want to do. But do you guys see how flat this flower is? And sometimes I want a little bit more dimension. And I want to show you, see how dimensionalized my flower is right here? Right? It's quite, it kind of pops versus this one's really, really flat, right? Okay, so here's what to do. There's, this is a technique that I like to use quite often when I don't like to get my hands dirty. I literally lift the petals and I apply foam dots right, can you guys see this? I literally lift it up and I apply them right there, okay? And then I take that glue off and now I have a little bit of dimension on the petal. And I do that throughout my flower right on the, you want to get like right in the edge in there. Okay. So that it's like really nice and popped so that your petal like pops out. Okay. Just like that. For those of you frugal crafters that you don't want to use your foam dots, this might, you know, might not be your thing, but, um, I just, I love my flowers dimensional. So this is, you know, one of the things that I like to do. Just like that. And last one. And then the next thing is I lift this one up. Like just really like get it in there. You could also cut them in half if you wanted. almost done but it's so dimensionalized right now and I love it hey Yvonne how are you did you just get on here all right last one yeah totally I do too like this one and this one, right? Like that, it's awesome. All right, what do you guys think? Do you see how dimensionalized it is? I mean, it's just so awesome. Like versus this flat flower, right? I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but anyway, um, that's pretty much how you do it. That's how easy it is. And then I base to, I know lots of people ask me like, oh, I hate flower arrangements because I don't know how to do it properly and all that stuff, right? So I always start with a large flower. That's kind of like my number one rule, okay? Start with your large flower. That's kind of what I tell my students. Always, and that's that'll be your first thing, okay? And I'm actually going to go ahead and apply a little bit of glue, not too much, just around here, not around the edges because I still want to be able to tuck flowers and such, um, the other flowers um, underneath. Okay, so do that. Oh man, this one's got some major, 
I want to call them going on. Those little wispies. And I just kind of press right in the middle there and get it right in there. Okay, just like that. And then now I'm going to grab these guys right here. And I'm going to be using these two. Okay. And I'm going to take this guy and I'm also going to use the pastel green and I'm just going to give him a little bit of a wash. So you don't always need to use gesso. You can use these beautiful uh, chalk inks, right? Which are pretty fabulous. And we're going to stick that right in there. Okay, just like that. And we're going to stick him right there. Okay, just like so. And then this guy, we also want to chalk him up a little bit because he's a little bit too yellow. And I don't do yellow that much. I have a hard time with doing yellow unless it's like a art journal page or something. You know what I mean? Come on. Okay, whoops. And we're going to tuck this guy about right there. Okay. And I have him poke out. Just like so. And then I want to get all the little pieces done. And then we're going to take one of these guys, which is the uh, Pearl Bebe Doodle Do. Doodle Do. Doodle Do. And we're going to take this guy right here. Whoops. The pearl just came off thanks to my nails. And this guy right here. Okay. And the rest can go away. So I'm going to put those right over there. And we're going to ink these up just a little bit again. And I think I'm going to have to add a little bit of glue to that pearl. But it's so goopy now. So goopy. There we go. Look at this glue. Ay, ay, ay. What's happening? What's happening? Where's my... Hang on. I'm on glue, glue cleanup duty at the moment. Hang on. There we go. Kind of gooped up on me there for a second. All right. So let's leave that one to dry for a second ink this up a little bit, even though you can't really see it. And then this one's going to go up here with the vine in a second, but then this one's going to go right underneath here. Okay, just like that. This is like the easiest layout ever, you guys. Okay, just beautiful. Now we're going to take a little vine. Okay. A little vine, just like that. And guess what we're gonna do to it? Yep, we're gonna butcher it up, cause that's what I do. I butcher these puppies up like crazy. All right. So first up is this guy, and he's gonna go right here. I love my vines, and I love to butcher them up. Cutting them up is like the best thing ever. Okay, and then I'm going to take this guy right here. I'm going to cut him right off. I shouldn't be using my scissors. I'm going to use, whoop, scissors are flying now. I'm going to use these scissors because I just, uh, I'm afraid that I'm going to ruin my precision scissors. And you want to tone down that pink a little bit, even though it matches. It's just a little bit too pink for me. Okay, and you just want to tuck this one right in there okay do you see why I don't put glue kind of all the way right because um, you still want to be able to tuck some of those flowers underneath does that make sense and then just get those down right in there good night Marlene okay perfect now I'm going to cut these up just a little bit more. Okay, so this guy, where does he go? I'm just, I like to open them up just a little bit. So this guy right here, just like this, I'm going to cut him up. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to tuck him right there, just like that. Okay, so that some of that beautifulness is sticking out. Okay. And then I kind of like that bird to be right there. And then 
this, these guys are going to be kind of cut off right there. So almost cut it in half, I guess you should say. Oh, there we go. Fabulous. And then now you can apply this if you move the birdie around a little bit, not on her face. Little birdie, you can't go on Ava's face, even though she'd probably play with you. That'll go right there. Just like so. See how a vine can go a long way? These vines always go a long ways. Long, long ways. And then this guy is going to get tucked right underneath. And what it does is it kind of creates balance. I find that if you don't put teal and teal, like you're almost like an axe, right? Or a W, you kind of want to design that way when you're creating. Okay, just like that. Fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. And then this guy, this little birdie of mine, is going to tuck. Whoops, there went the flower. It's going to go right here. Just like that. Popping out right there. And where's that flower that came out right there? No problem. Come on. Come out. Come out. Wherever you are. And that's going to tuck about right there. Do you guys see how it's just coming together, huh? Just takes a little bit. And then we just need one more flower right in there. It's not exactly the same as the other layout, but pretty darn close. Some of the vines sometimes are just slightly bent in different ways, so then it kind of um, becomes a little bit more difficult to try and remember how it was. But just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very quickly go over with my there we go. Fabulous. Don't need too much, but it tones it down just a little bit. Do you see how it's kind of coming together already? And what I want to do is I actually want to pop this guy up just a little bit. And you can't tell, uh, you probably can't tell from that far away because um, you're far away. But what I like to do is I like to take these foam dots and I like to cut them in half or like, whoop, half of them just went flying. And I actually like to tuck this right underneath here. And what it does is it gives it a little bit of dimension. Where did the other half go? There, right there. And I just apply two of them and they go right underneath the vine and the vine is really nice and popped. Okay. And it's really dimensionalized. That's how you can add a little bit of dimension to your layout. All right. So the next thing that we want to do is we need a little bit of our chipboard and our stamping and our embellishments, right? So these are those gorgeous uh, wood embellishments. And I'm going to take this gorgeous little heart. It's so cute. And I'm going to take the green pastel. And I'm going to apply green pastel all over this little heart. This little heart of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Okay, I'm sorry. I won't. I won't do that to you. <laughs> I just won't. I'll stop. Oh, Hey, Carolyn. How are you? Okay, so very, very lightly. And I just take my finger, and what it does is it kind of creates a blending effect. So you put a little bit and then blend away. Okay, there we go. Fabulous, fabulous. I was just at Scrapbooker's Paradise a couple weekends ago. Um, I didn't buy too much because it looked like the store was um, like getting new stuff and moving stuff around, and so. And I was kind of in a rush, so I didn't have time to, to really shop too much. But I, I bought a couple things. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to tuck him right here. Oh, and actually, I'm going to pop dot him. Never mind. I don't know why I put that glue. I wanted to pop dot him a little bit. So never mind, gluey glue. Gluey glue glue. My fingers are completely and utterly sticky at the moment. Just saying. Okay, just like that. He's popped, baby. Cute little heart. Can you guys see? Adorbs. Super adorbs. Okay. Now we need a little bit of our chipboard pieces and such in our stamping. So um, the first one that I'm going to grab because the chipboard pieces. Don't you want them all on there? Oh, they're so cute. 
And I'm going to take, I think I only used one. Isn't that crazy? Out of all that chipboard piece, I only used one. That's crazy. I just didn't want to overload you. So I'm going to use Darlin. Oh, Darlin. Okay. And it actually says, oh, Darlin. And I'm going to use the O oh, because I think it's kind of perfect. And I didn't use it on my other layout. Oops. And what's so great about these, they're sticky back. How awesome is that, right? Sticky back. And then we're going to put, so that's all I used for the chipboard, surprisingly. I thought I was going to use way more when I created the layout. And then I'm going to take some of my sticker, my journaling spot stickers. And if you guys are into like Project Life and all those junk journaling and things like that, these are flipping wicked. Like Wicknar, like my husband says. <laughs> Oh, Carolyn, I used to work at Scrapbookers Paradise two summers ago. When was the talented Limor there? Oh, I was there a long time ago. Um, okay, a door. We're going to take a door out of there, and we're going to put a little bit of the small little... This one seems to be not as high, so I'm almost adding a double layer of thumb dots. And because it's already a sticker, this one's going to go right there. And it's going to kind of pop out just like so cuteness 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 and then i'm going to grab the you are so loved that's right there and we're going to do a little foam dotty couple maybe one and two okay there we go and we're going to tuck him. Do you guys see the line there? I want to show you. Do you see how I don't like how the line kind of sticks, uh, shows up right there? Which is how I remedied that by putting the little sticker right there. And then it just kind of fits perfectly. And then it balances because they're both the same color. And see, you start to get a W, right? Or an X, right? That's kind of how you want to do it. And did I do anything else? Yes, yeah, stamping. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to stamp a little bit. And that's it. I think that's all I used for these beautiful journaling stickers. You can certainly use way more, of course. I just didn't. Um, and then we're going to take our little guy. And I did save this to the end, actually, when I did my layout. And when I cut my layout, I uh, cut the uh, this piece a little bit differently than I did this piece, as you can see. So I'm actually going to do the stamping right here. I'm going to do it on a different side, which is totally fine. Because I just want an excuse to use these amazing stamps. And these stamps, again, are 570-095. And I am going to use this one right here, which is so gorgeous. And it kind of goes with that printery um, paper so beautifully. And I think I'm going to almost, like, do it on the side. And you want to do it really faint. And one of the most beautiful chalk um, inkers... Uh, edgers fluid chalkings um is the old road it's one of my favorites um it's kind of like a gray a soft gray look and so it's not like that starkness black and you almost want to you don't want a perfect image so you want to grab both ends and you literally want to roll your stamp do you see that see how now it's kind of like part of the page and you can uh, ink it up just a little bit more here and there if you wanted to and you could do a little bit right there oops there and now it's a summer which is actually perfect okay just like that and you can get a little bit of the edges right there gorgeous 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 now I'm going stamping crazy there we go and that my friends I cannot believe I just did this in an hour one hour less than one hour and this layout, my friends, is completely done. That's it. That's all. That's how quick this lay you can create this layout yourself. Is that not the coolest thing? That's it. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I got for you. <laughs> I know, right? Isn't that cool? I have some announcements. So hang on. Hang, hang tight. I'm going to switch camera angles. 
and hello, hello. Okay, so here's some announcements, okay? I gotta pull them up. I was gonna print them, but they're right here. So uh, a couple announcements. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It was so quick, right? You guys wanna see it again? I'll show it to you again. Right, like super duper quick. Pretty awesome. Um, so here's the announcements. Um, Art Venture Anaheim, January 8th and 9th. Who's coming to see me? Hello, hello. So get your uh, butts registered into Art Venture Anaheim because you better be there. I want to meet you. Um, I'm trying to read the chat as I'm like looking at the thing. So sorry if my eyes look all wonky. Um, Tuesday's class is going to be with Frank and he's going to feature the new Ingvild Bohm um, Junkyard Findings. Okay, and it's at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay. And um, what else? This weekend at Prima Warehouse, Christmas tags, $3, you guys. How tall am I? I'm not very tall. I'm 5'2". Um, 9 to 5, sorry, the warehouse is open at 9 to 5, 5, Friday, Saturday. The address is 5270 Edison Avenue, Chino, California. I wish I could be there. Uh... Am I going to make it to Atlanta, Georgia? I'd love to make it to Atlanta, blah, 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 Atlanta, Georgia. Send me a store name and uh, I'll give them a call. Have them contact me. <laughs> I know. I, I'd love to teach at the Prima Warehouse. That'd be so much fun. <sighs> Maybe do a class there. That'd be fun one day for sure. <laughs> we have to get the bosses to say yes. Look. <laughs> you guys I, you know what I would love to teach and all those places that you guys want me to teach but one of the things that you have to do is you have to either have the store contact me or just send me the store name so I can contact them because otherwise I don't know um, you know and I'll for sure um, head on over <laughs> I know is this not the coolest mug ever I'm going to stop the recording so all these people don't have to watch me uh, drink tea. So thank you. For those of you that um, are watching the recording, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.